The combined use of virtual scale models and space geodesy is a project based on the high accuracy of global positioning system culture in the Institute of Engineering Survey and Space Geology and the Mixed Reality know-how of the Mixed Reality Laboratory, both based at the University of Nottingham. This project covers some of the primary necessities between people with different levels of knowledge on civil engineer projects, the mutual understanding and collaboration. In fact, mutual understanding and collaboration work together. People can only understand each other if there is reliable information between them. Collaboration must take place where there are differences and not clear comprehension when exchanging ideas and information. A blueprint could be an example of how sometimes it is difficult to comprehend the information, particularly when the data is incomplete or depreciated. The goal of the project is the creation of a collaborative work environment, where people in the office, also called office users, share information with those in the streets, also recognized as field users. The office users explore the virtual environment on the computer screen with the aid of a mouse. The field users are equipped with state-of-the-art positioning systems, like real-time kinematic global positioning system receivers, that can offer sentimental level of accuracy in real-time, inertial sensors and a magnetic compass. The virtual environment is blended with the real environment through a see-through head mount display. The position of the field user is streamed to a computer via Wavelength. This computer, connected to the Internet, can be accessed by any field user around the globe. The two sets of users can then share the virtual environment, talking and seeing each other through an embodiment representation. So, I, I just turn 180 degrees, yeah? A final step is the incorporation of a video camera with the field user. Office users could then see how the real environment looks as in the field. Just explore the air. I can see the train, yes. Yeah. yeah, it's just it's heavy off now. This virtual environment could be created based on several layers of information that can be found in a database shared by a number of companies that have developed some work in a particular area. In the construction of a shopping center, companies in charge of gas, electricity, water, telecommunication and civil engineer, for example, could add and adjust the positioning and the specification of each one of the components of their structures. Field and office users would then see these changes on their screens and on their see-through head mount displays. Oh! Alright, yeah, you built, built up a bit. Okay, I'm coming towards you again. Yeah? Okay. Right. Oh, oh, I've seen two. I appear to have gone through the wall. The advantage is the high accuracy in the positioning of the elements in the construction site. Workers can now pinpoint the structure below the surface as well as in the walls of the building. Yes, I can uh, say uh, one CCTV. On the top is that CCTV as well. Complex tasks in the virtual environment, like drag and drop objects and switch level of details, are controlled remotely by the office user. Any change is immediately reported to the virtual environment explored by the field user. The field user is free to explore the virtual environment project before their eyes, without restriction of where to go. The office user can see the field user's movements and help by indicating and pointing to particular points of interest in the virtual environment that should be checked in the physical world. Interaction, collaboration and support are key words for the project introducing. <laughs>